A neighborhood near Italian Village still reeling tonight after a mass shooting overnight killed three people and injured three others. Thanks for joining us tonight on NBC4 at 730. I'm Kyle Beachy. Tonight, Columbus police have identified the three people killed. They are 27-year-old Malachi P., 18-year-old DeAndre Bullock, and 26-year-old Garcia Dixon Jr. That shooting happening near East 5th Avenue and Summit Street overnight. Roads in the area were closed for much of the day as police conducted an investigation. They've reopened now, but that investigation remains active. Here's NBC4's Isabel Cleary. I spoke with someone who lives right next to where this shooting happened. He says he saw it happen and there has been a pain and sadness in the air ever since. Columbus police say that they received reports of a shooting in the area of East 5th Avenue and Summit Street at 2.45 this morning. That is between Milan Park and Italian Village. Police say of the three people killed, two died at the scene and one died at the hospital. As for the three people injured, CPD says they are expected to survive. The roads in the area were closed for about 12 hours as police conducted their investigation. The neighbor I spoke with described the scene as very chaotic, and now he's hoping people can come together to push for peace. This is a cry for help. It's a cry that we need to come together. We need to learn mentally, this is my daughter. But we got to do it for her. We have kids that live in all of these neighborhoods, no matter where we're at in the city, and that's our future. Police say they are still working to determine how this happened. There have been no suspects identified at this time. Columbus police are asking anyone with information to give them a call. We have that number on our website, NBC4i.com. Local for you in Columbus. I'm Isabel Clear, NBC4. Isabel, thank you. We're also getting new information about another deadly shooting overnight in Columbus. This one on Vineshire Drive on the east side. 34-year-old Tyler Goings was killed. Police have charged 30-year-old Alsea Griffin with murder. They say Griffin and another man were celebrating Goins' birthday when they got into a drunken argument and he was shot. The third man is identified only by his street name, Buki, and police are still trying to find him. If you have any information on Buki's real name, you're asked to call police. We've got that number on NBC4i.com. And you can stay connected to all of these developing stories on NBC4 by scanning the QR code on your screen to download the NBC4 app. You can get crime alerts sent directly to your phone. And of course, you can also download the app from your app store.